Live Photos, one of the key new features of the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus, captures a second and a half of video and audio before and after you press the shutter to produce Harry Potter-like moving photos. Live photos are exclusive to the latest iPhones and can be taken on both the rear-facing and front-facing cameras. To take a live photo, simply open up the camera app and tap the Live Photos icon that looks like a bullseye on the top of the screen. It will turn yellow when it's activated. There are a few things to be aware of when taking a live photo. The second and a half of video starts before you press the button. So make sure you already have the shot in frame before pressing the shutter button, or part of your photo will be you framing the shot. At the other end of the shot, there's another second and a half of video being taken, so don't click and immediately turn the phone towards the ground. The iPhone will display a live icon in-app when it's recording the final second and a half of video, so try and keep the shot steady until it disappears for best results. Also, beware, live photos captures audio at the same time. While the rush of water of a waterfall is a great addition to a live photo, it's worth noting that shouting at the person to move while you take the shot will also be heard loud and clear. That was it. Yeah, it one more time. People won't expect their voice to be recorded during what they believe to be a photograph, so be conscious of both the shot itself and what you can hear when taking a live photo. We recommend that you don't keep live photos on all the time, especially if you have an iPhone with 16 gigabytes of storage. To turn off live photos, just tap the bullseye at the top of the screen so it goes white. To make the live photos come to life, open the image and hard press the photo to play it. We found that if you swipe to the next live photo, it will play a few microseconds, but if you press throughout the playback, you would see more of the recording. There appears to be no way to edit the final version, so it may take you a few tries to get the live photo that you want. Live photos taken with the rear-facing camera of the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus are 12 megapixels, and those taken with the front-facing camera will be 5 megapixels. When we imported live photos via image capture on a Mac, we could see that each live photo is made up of a .mov file of around 3 to 4 MB and a JPEG of around 2 to 5 MB. Normal photos are around 1 to 2 MB, so the fact that these JPEGs are larger suggests that they include more information than just a still image. You can share your live photos to another iOS 9 device using iMessage, AirDrop, or by sharing a photo album via iCloud. To view a live photo on an iPhone 6 or 6 Plus, simply long press to play the video. It's more straightforward to view a live photo on a Mac running El Capitan in Photos, as all you need to do is click on the image to activate it. You can also view live photos on the Apple Watch running at WatchOS 2 by using one as a watch face, which will activate whenever you raise your wrist. Strangely, you can't email live photos to other devices or use third-party apps like WhatsApp to send to a friend, as it'll only send the original JPEG. For more information on everything Apple-related, make sure you check out macworld.co.uk.